Hey guys, we are back with uh, episode number one, two, three, four, five of my Nuzlocke run. I uh, hope you're enjoying it so far. Uh, it's been pretty fun. Uh, update. During that last montage, you saw that Charmander, our Charmander Chase, evolved into a Charmillion, and he's just growing up. He's just growing up into a big strapping Charmillion guy. He is pretty darn powerful. He is nice to have on my team. Uh, I was a little worried that we almost lost Ingrid during that montage. If you didn't see it, uh, it was not good. I almost lost it due to my own stupidity. So yeah, we are back with a full team of everybody sitting at 15 and a couple people sitting at 16. Actually, the majority is sitting at 16, not 15. But that doesn't really matter. We should be good to go against our rival. And as everybody knows, he likes to lead with his birds. So we are not... Oh, wait. What did I just say? Oh, no. That sounds really bad. Anyway, we're just going to meet his Pidgey, or whatever it's going to be, with my Rattata, and hope for the best. We're just going to... Uh, well, let's get some potions first. Let's play it safe. Better safe than sorry. We don't want to just lose everybody right off the bat. So yes, let's get some potions. Actually, let us sell some stuff because we don't need that. We also cannot use this revive, so we're going to sell that. And I believe that's all I'm going to sell for now. So let's go ahead and buy some stuff. Let's buy, oh, let's buy the, the eight of those. Yes. And then let's buy, like, five of the... No, seven sounds good. Um, um, let's get a few of these while we can. Just because we can. Let's get eight. And then how many... Let's get five. Now we are poor, but that is okay, because we are going up to the Nugget Bridge. So there could be a lot of changes in the party during this whole little area. Hopefully it's for the better, and not for the worst. Yeah, so we're going to go up to the Nugget Bridge, so there's going to be a lot of different things going on. There's going to be a lot of battles, there's going to be a lot of experience. There's going to be a great deal of chance that somebody is going to get knocked out, which I do not want. My party is shaping up to be pretty nice. I guess, you know, it's an average party with the Rattata and the Pidgey and the Butterfree, but, you know, Chase and Ingrid are holding the whole party together. And I just went ahead and leveled up. Algernon with that rare candy if you saw just because I could I should have leveled up somebody else with it But that's okay. I figured I might as well level up Algernon and get her up to level 16 as well now I'm really kind of hoping that I Can outspeed whatever he throws at me first. Oh Here he is what a tool Yo, Jay you're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. Caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Jay. What a tool. He's such a tool. He is the epitome of tooliness. All right, let's go, Gary. Like we predicted, he leads with his bird. I mean, yeah. So we don't outspeed. That's not good. That's not good at all. But Hyperfang connects. Oh, man, that did not do as much as I wanted it to. Come on. Let's do a quick, let's do a quick attack. Let's see if we can't... No, Algernon, why? Why? Don't die, don't die, don't die. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, shoot. Ooh, you gotta risk it to get the biscuit, and we just got the biscuit for Algernon. She's gonna have herself a treat. Nice little biscuit. I've got a surprise for you, Ratata. Her name is Ingrid. And as we all know, whatever is in front of Ingrid will be destroyed. No matter what it is, she will just demolish it, tear it up, and throw it to the side unless she gets demolished herself like she is. But she is just a critical machine, man. That is, like, ridiculous. Now, I have a feeling he's going to pull out with his... That's fine. Do that. I will use this time to heal up. And that's kind of cheating, but I do not care at all. I do not care. I do not care. 
I do not care. Because all he can do is teleport. Let's hope that's all he can do. And we're gonna switch out to our Pidgey for this to get Pidgey some experience points. It's not gonna be very much, but it will do. Okay, let's just quick attack this guy. Knock him. Oh man, nice critical there, Amelia. Nice crit. chunk of experience there, and he's pulling out the Squirtle. So we're just gonna do the old sand attack, just a few of them. It's kind of bad, but... Agua! Ah, what can you do? If he's just gonna withdraw all the time, he will be blind as a bat when I'm through with him. That is correct, you will miss everything. Everything you throw my way, you will miss. You will miss. You will miss. You will miss, miss, miss. You will just miss everything. That is correct, man. You just do your thing. I'm gonna make you blind as a bat. Blind. You are not gonna be able to hit anything when I'm through with you. Now this is very, very much cheating. Kind of, sort of. But, it's in the game, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Alright, he can't hit the broadside of a barn. So we're good to go. Let us just see how much we can do. We won't probably do anything to him because he's been withdrawing. Nope. Nothing. So let's switch to... Monarch. We're gonna poison him, and then we're gonna whittle him down with Confusion. Although, Confusion should do a nice little chunk, because I do not believe that defense will affect it. And if it does, that is stupid! There we are, a little bit of poison powder for you, Squirtle. Just a little bit of poison powder thrown on top of Squirtle. How's Confusion Ray, this guy? Well, Confusion. Not Confusion Ray. That is much better than what that there bird was doing against him. It should be a fairly easy battle since he can't hit the broadside of a barn, and I can just sit here and whittle him down. Yep. Just whittle him down. Uh oh. That's fine. You're dead. You are dead! Well, his Squirtle actually hit us, and for some reason he did not evolve his Squirtle into a Wartorb, so it may have been much harder if he would have. I mean, level 18, he should have been a Wartortle. Here comes the tool, here he is. What a tool. Hey, take it easy, you won already. 280 bucks. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and he got, me to, got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous as Pokemon Maniac. Yeah! That's good to be famous for. He invented the Pokemon Story System on his PC, too. Since you're using his system, you should thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later! I just realized the voice I was doing for him. Oh, yeah, hey! I feel sorry for you, not really. You always plodded behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. The Fame Checker. Something I've never used and will never use. A chatty gossip like you, that's a perfect thing. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. Alright, this time I'm really gone. Smell ya! Don't smell me! That's weird, man! That's just weird. Let's heal up and then go back up to the bridge to fight all them trainers. We'll see how far we get before we have to come back. I Hopefully the battles will go our way. I mean, since we got Chase the Charmeleon. I know I said Chester the Charmander in our first episode, which I don't know why I said Chester. But Chase can probably destroy anything that they throw at us. 
but he's probably not gonna be up front for this first battle. I'm probably gonna have Amelia up front for the battle because, as we can see, it is a bug catcher, and I have a bird up front. Leading with my bird. Uh, I mean, yeah. So it's chugging here, man. It's chugging a little bit. This Caterpie. Get him out of the way. Don't deal with this Caterpie. Let's just get rid of him. Just throw him away. We don't want him here. Boom. One hit KO. One hit KO. One hit KO. Well, I'm ten level, five levels higher him. No wonder. Let's see if we can do it again. Let's see if we can do it again. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Amelia is so powerful. That's ten levels since I've got her. Ten. And she barely grinded on the grinding. You know, barely. So this is all on screen leveling up. Mmm, you almost killed him. You almost did. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I left Amelia on the team. She is a nice little addition to have. Now, I don't know how long she'll last. But she's a good little addition to have on the team. Sorry about that, guys. Down and up the storm. Kakuna! And she's just eating up all this experience. Just nom 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 nom. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Get stronger. Get stronger. Get stronger! Just keep getting stronger, please. She's gonna get so powerful. Okay, now I don't know what this next person has, so we'll just leave with Monarch since he's got that second move and can handle almost anything. So she's got... In this game, there's no really dark types in it. So unless she's got, uh, like a Meow that has Bite. Well, never mind. He's not psychic. I'm just sound like an idiot here. Well, there's that. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's, that's bad. Let's go with Algernon here. Even though she's level 16, I'd rather level up a level 16 than lose Monarch. Because he's going to be key in catching my other encounter. There we go again! <sighs> Oddish. 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 It's an Oddish. It's a dead Oddish. Bye bye. Aww. Come on, Algernon. Gotta do better than that. Gotta kill that thing. Get rid of it. I don't want it on the screen no more. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Man, I'm so used to shift. I'm sitting here waiting for him to ask me. Let's bring out a meal. She could use a little more experience. I'd like to get her up two levels. I don't think we're gonna be able to, though. Ah, oh, poop. Wrong move. And I'm so glad they fixed rap. First game, rap was ridiculous. Couldn't do nothing. Couldn't attack. Couldn't move. Until it was broke. Oh man, such little experience. That's okay, Algernon gained a level. Algernon gained a level. Now she's got a little bit before she changes into something else. Which would be nice to have before I fought Misty. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Just a thought. Just a feeling. Let's go ahead and use a super potion. Because he has... Yes. I got eight. Might as well. Might as well just waste it. Yeah, that was kind of a waste. I realize that now. I realize that now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasted it. Oh well. Let's go. Here's number three. I won't be easy. I'm not sure about that. I think you will. I think I'll be able to beat you easy. 
Sand shrew. Go to sleep, my friend. You will not be fighting me. You will not be fighting me this day. You will go to sleep and you will not wake up from that sleep. For you will be destroyed. Waking up so soon! Stay asleep! Gosh! Ooh, Ekans! That'll be easy. Maybe. Get out of here, Ekans. Get out, get out, get out of here, Ekans. Nobody likes snakes. I'm also very glad that I did not encounter this, where I caught Halberd, our Spiro, who was the guy we caught before we did grinding, if you did not see. Now, he's not on the party because I have Amelia, who is several levels higher now. So, he's just chilling in the box. going let's just let's just do it let's just let's just go I mean we're whooping on him might as well no troubles at all so far in this Nuzlocke but things are not probably gonna keep going this way I have a feeling that something bad is going to happen soon I've been very risky with uh, the grinding if you saw it seems like Twice so far. I've almost lost somebody during the grind. So it's kind of seems like we may lose somebody soon. I don't want that to happen, but it just seems like it might happen. Because we're getting a little far in here without anything that close. But just meanwhile, while I'm rambling, Monarch is just destroying everything that happens to be in his path. Just killing it all and leaving their bodies out in the light. Hopefully they will just... Somebody will come and pick them up and throw them away. Otherwise, this bridge is going to start to stink. But Monarch does not care. He just cuts a path through everybody. Let's check the team before we fight a couple trainers. Now I'm going to get my two encounters... And fight the last two guys on the bridge, and maybe that dude in the grass, and I might cut it and make this one rather short compared to the other ones, because the other ones are very long. Uh, the last one I didn't want to be as long as it was, but it is because I forgot to get our encounter, because I was worried about losing Monarch to poison, and I did not want that to happen. So we're just going to lead with Monarch... Right. No. No, no, no. We're gonna lead with Amelia because she's really close to leveling up. And that would be nice. And then we'll see what happens after that. We'll just see. We'll just see what happens. I mean, we may be alright. We may not. I don't know. So, yeah. Let's just see how it goes. I mean... Team so far is doing alright. Which is just fine. Man, this thing is just irritating me. Yeah. I don't know where to put it. I'm gonna put it right here. You guys can't see what I'm talking about, but it's a little thing that the headset goes on. Right here. Hey, just irritate me. I know that's not important, but okay, we made a good choice putting Amelia up front, although, um, she doesn't have the- Ooh. Oh, no! No, I voodooed myself! Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Oh, no! Okay, well, I'm sad, so I need to clear this real quick before I keep getting more sad. Oh, man. I was just getting used to her. Dang it! Oh! 
Why did I have to mention the fact that we went so far without losing anybody? Oh. Just dumb. Just dumb. Why didn't I switch to Monarch? Oh, why? Ah! It's okay. It's okay. We got Halberd. She was so close to... Oh! I'm sitting here freaking out about uh, Amelia and Monarch's almost getting killed. What the heck was I thinking? Gosh, that... Oh! Forget you, man. Ah, we gotta go back. We gotta go back and mourn the loss. So, yes! It looks like Halberd will be joining our team next time. The next little thing. And I will be grinding him at the end of this episode. So, let's just heal and bury our dead. I had to open my mouth. I had to. I had to. I had to open my mouth and just jinx myself into losing Amelia. Let me just make sure everything's, uh... <sighs> Man. Not happy about that. And it's my own fault for... Oh, well, just thinking she could take a hit. I just forgot. I mentioned it last time that she... That Pidgeys are not the best at defending against fighting type because they're normal and fighting. Or normal and flying. So we're going to just change the name here to the Graveyard. I was hoping not to come in here yet. Let's see if we have a more, uh... That'll work for the graveyard. It kind of sort of looks like a gravestone. Whatever. Yep. So he's gonna be put in the party temporarily. I'm just so sad about Amelia that I can't even talk. I'm gonna put him in the party. And he's not gonna do much in this episode. So yeah, we got our first casualty there. But he will be joining our party, maybe. Maybe! We will see what the next encounters will be once we beat this last guy on the bridge. And hopefully get some stuff for monies. So we can get some money dollars. And get some more medications for our Pokemates. For my dead Pokemates! I'm just so sad. Oh, don't look at me, you're just so sad. It's just so sad. Can't even look at you. <sighs> oh well. Oh well. She had such promise, leveled up so fast, and now she's dead. I also like that they do not give you the option to join Team Rocket. Now, I want to see maybe a remake of this game where you can and you can do whatever you want. Now that would be something. Alright, let's just decimate this guy in honor of Amelia. Amelia's lost. She will never be back. And that right there is what makes a Nuzlocke both fun, terrifying, and also devastating. I'm just glad it wasn't Chase or Ingrid. Because otherwise I would be just so heartbroken. I don't think we'd be able to finish the episode. Nope, we'd probably just quit. Nope, nope, just, just call it, nope, no more. No, we'll, we'll just keep going if we do lose these, every, anybody. I'm sitting here looking for the microphone. If we lose anybody, we'll just keep going. I mean, otherwise, what's the point of even doing these if we're just going to quit and somebody dies? So we'll just fight through the pain. I knew I 
should have left Monarch on front. I knew it! 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 And I blew it! Ah, man. Let's see. go with Chase. We haven't seen Chase much yet as a Charmeleon. Let's just hope it's something he can just destroy to get my anchor out. Let's just go. Let's, let's just do it. Come on, Shane. Come on, Shane. You ain't got nothing on me. Yeah, be scared. Light you on fire, you little mouse. Come on, Chase. Now he's gonna quick attack you and you're gonna be hurt. Oh, nope, never mind. Now, Chase is pretty darn quick if he's outspeeding Rotata. Of course, Rotata's two levels lower than him. That good looks. Too bad that that won't really matter because I'm gonna burn you up. Just keep spitting that fire all around you so you're burning. I don't know what this was. I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands. Just, I don't know what to do with my hands right now. So Chase is poisoned. But that is okay. We're gonna waste an antidote. Because I do not feel like walking back. And this episode's getting long. So we will catch our two encounters. Or kill them. Or let them run away. Depending on what they are. And then we'll call it. We will probably just use a potion on Chase and uh, continue on with the next episode and not bother going back to the uh, Pokemon Center. I know I said that we're going to keep doing that, but we're not. We're not going to do it this time. Let's lead with Monarch to put them to sleep or poison them or stun them or something good so that we can get our Abra. Yes, please. I want to say I might outspeed him, because I'm almost 10 levels higher. <sighs> oh, I should have bought some great balls. I don't even know if I can. Alright, everybody. Let's just do it. Come on, Pokeball. Come on, Pokeball! Come on! Come on! Booyah! That is very good. Oh man, that's... I needed that after losing Amelia. So let's call him... Uh, let's see here what we want to call him. So what are we going to call him? We're going to call him... We are going to call him... We are gonna, not going to call him Blank. We are going to call him this. If you couldn't tell by what I put first, we're going to call him Xavier. That way, he is a psychic powerhouse. Okay, so that is good. That is good, 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 good. Compared to um, when we lost Amelia, we are doing much better now. So yes, we are doing good. Alright, let's go up and get our second encounter for the day to make up for losing Amelia. Just lost Amelia. But we gained. We gained Xavier, who is going to be a great help. The only problem is I can't get him to evolve into an Alakazam. <sighs> oh well. And our second encounter for the day will be what, you say? I'm hoping for a grass type. Ask and you will receive. So yes, this will be our second encounter for the day. Now, she, he, because it is not a she, 
It is an artist that is a male. He is going to be key, I believe, in killing Misty. So that means that for the next episode, I will not have Halbert on my team, but rather I will have this Oddish, whatever we decide to name him, and Xavier the Abra. So he will be a new member for our team. At least until we beat Misty. I don't really like having Oddish on my team after that. I mean, they might turn really good, they might not. We're just gonna call him Oddball. With a hyphen, because all the greatest nicknames in all the world start with a hyphen. Or, don't start. <laughs> they have a hyphen in the middle. We're gonna call him Oddball. Oddball was transferred to someone C PC CD. He was put in box one. Good, I don't want him in the graveyard. Okay, I said we weren't gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, but guess what? We can just go like this and teleport to it. Oh yeah, there's Xavier. Here we go. Alright guys, I will be checking out right now. So stay tuned guys, we will be having a little bit of grinding for this episode. Uh, it's for the next one, but I'm gonna put it on this one. Because with some, uh, you know, time and whatnot, we're probably going to do quite a bit in the next episode. And so, yeah, guys, keep sticking around. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I cannot wait to get the next badge out of the way and get down to Vermilion City and get all kinds of encounters, which would be very nice. Uh, like I said, there's not going to be any little graveyard sprite down below me. You'll just have to keep watching and figure it out. I'll probably talk about it on the next episode about losing Amelia, but you know what? It's okay. We got who we got. Alright guys, check you around, and I'm checking out.